Are you sick of spam? <laughs> I am. So I figured I would make this uh, Thunderbird Mozilla tutorial for you here. And it's all about effectively getting rid of spam. Now, I found myself creating filters and, you know, a blanket filters for uh, certain email addresses. And it just uh, was, was getting very taxing. So it's almost like a losing battle. So what is the most effective way to, you know, combat spam, especially in Mozilla Thunderbird? I'm going to show you here. I left a couple spam messages here, the salary one. And uh, let's see here. I think I left another one up there. Uh, this Lowe's customer support, obviously not from Lowe's. And uh, so now what you want to do is go to those messages and let me just go ahead and open this up so you can see exactly what's in, instead of hitting delete those messages, whenever they're coming in, after you set up what I'm about to show you to set up, uh, whenever I hit junk, it's just going to get rid of that message. And that's what you want. So a lot of times when you hit junk, it stays in your inbox and you're wondering what the hell's going on? Why didn't it disappear? and so on and so forth. That's what you want to do. So here's another one, salary. If I just, you know, this is obviously a junk email bonus perks. I, you know, I'm just going to spam them or not spam them. I'm going to put them in the junk folder. So they're marked as spam when they come in. And this is teaching Mozilla Thunderbird what is spam for me and what is not spam. And so this is what you want to do. Uh, now, I did this globally. You could do this per uh, email uh, email address. So let me just close this up here. Here's my different email addresses. I'm going to right-click and then go to settings, okay? The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to where it says junk settings. And you want to enable this adaptive junk mail controls, okay? That means it's, it's going to learn what you you mark as junk and it's going to do that you know start getting automatic oh okay before it when it hits the inbox okay this is junk for him he don't want to see it. it's going to go to the junk email folder now could it make mistakes of course now it says here do not automatically junk uh mark mail if the sender is in this list so you have to add if you have these uh, different lists anything that is in these lists will not be marked as junk you know it'll it'll be allowed to come through okay and so you can trust mail headers sent by spam assassin and does it make mistakes of course it does does it get most of them yeah it does and so uh what you want to do is you know whenever those uh, spam things come in you can move the junk the new junk messages to a junk folder this particular account max at even website pro it goes to my junk folder and, you know, I can empty the uh, junk folder. I, I have that set to uh, officially delete every five days because you know, I'm on here every day. And so anyway, that's how I handle it per account. All right. Uh, so if I wanted to move it to another junk folder, I could go like this and, you know, select something else where I want to send it for. But or move it to somewhere else like an, a different email account that I want but I'm just going to leave it for that particular because I like to keep everything separated for my email address and I have several different email addresses if you need to know how to set up an email address I have a tutorial on that too but the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the global junk preferences okay now this is going to encompass all my email addresses within my Mozilla Thunderbird email client and so I'm going to set uh, the junk mail settings. Account specific junk mail settings can be configured in account settings, which we just did. When messages are marked junk, move them uh, uh, to the account's junk folder. No, I want to delete them. So it'll, it'll let, whenever I hit that junk mail, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it in my inbox. I don't want to move it to junk. Whenever I see something to spam, I want it gone, right? So, but you can, uh, you know, have this go to your junk email folder and then it'll delete it after five days. But I, I you know, I just prefer to delete them all together. Uh, there's caveats between those two, but I figure if a message is really important, somebody will try to get back to me, right? 
All right. Messages marked, uh, mark messages as read when manual junk, when manually marked as junk. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to mark it as read. So the system gets to learn what I'm mark what I'm spamming, what I'm doing with it. And the next message that comes in, it will go to my junk folder and that'll be deleted after five days. So I have an option to check my spam or junk mail folder. So if Thunderbird determines they are junk, I have that checked too, right? So if uh, they determine that's junk, it's going to move to the junk folder. Now, I usually know when a client's going to email me or, uh, you know, somebody's going to email me or I usually talk to them via social media or something like that. So this is saves more time than the money that it loses, right? And you want to enable this adaptive junk filter logging. And because that's just, you know, that's training the, the system, you know, what you're marking as spam and what you're not. So uh, the Thunderbird collection data, well, this is just helps Thunderbird. Uh, you can send technical information. You also can send uh, crash reports. I just have the first one enabled, but you feel free to enable either one. Okay, so scam detection. Thunderbird can analyze messages for suspected email scams, looking for some common techniques used to deceive you. So I have here, tell me if the message I'm reading is suspected as an email scam. Okay. So they could have the, the domain set up. They could have the DKIM, SPF, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, the, the issue is, is that the, they figure out ways to get around these things. And so if anybody else has an issue, report it. You know, and then that's why I also report back to Thunderbird because it helps us as a whole. Antivirus. Uh, Thunderbird can make uh, it easy for antivirus software to analyze incoming uh, mail messages, you know, for viruses. So I allow the antivirus uh, clients to quarantine individual incoming messages. Yes. Certificates. So when another server asks for my personal certificate, I want it to ask me. I want to know who's asking me for my certificate. Okay. Uh, here, query OS, OCSP responder. So this is sends them a responder, you know, that, that I have read their message. So I, I want to confirm the, uh, the validity of the certificates. So and here you can manage the certificates and the security devices. I'm not going to bring those up on a video here. So end-to-end uh, -end encryption, so from email to email. So I automatically enable the encryption when it's possible, and then I'll automatically disable the encryption when recipients change the, uh, and, and the encryption is no longer possible, so I can see the email messages. And then I could mark show a notification whenever an en encryption is disabled automatically. And that's basically it. These are my settings. They're working great, uh, so I just figured that I would make this tutorial and share it with you guys. All right, see you in the next video.